this drive. Low snap, Agnew handles it to the outside. Wearing is dragged down on the edge. It's inside the 20, fourth down coming. King makes the stop on fourth and two with a banged up offensive line. Belief in the run game, but a play action for a fourth down conversion. First down, San Diego State. Devils get a stop on second and third, may use a timeout. Agnew zips it over the middle. That is wearing, stretching, picking up a first down to the 40-yard line. And pass breakups, a couple sacks. We'll begin the fourth with a third down conversion for San Diego close. State. It's a little bit short now. This is going to be an interesting decision. I was going to give it to him, but you're right, A.T. Waring is just a bit short. Toss it. That works, too. Two more points on the board. Waring holds it in. The two-point conversion is good for San Diego State. And it is a two-touchdown lead with four minutes and 14 seconds. To the air at last, Agnew. Two more and a two-touchdown lead. <laughs> the turnover on downs, technically, I call yeah. it a turnover. You drop a, a punt situation like that. Agnew downfield connects with Waring the tight end. He cuts it back inside the 10. This great field position, the drive starting at the 31 for the Aztecs. It's the fumble. Osuna recovered that fumble. Second and 11. Agnew. Time to throw, but nowhere to go. Yeah, he manages to whip it back to Kahale Waring, his junior tight end. 60 minutes every week. Chase Jasmine back on the field. Agnew again to the air. The pass is caught. Waring makes the grab and then dances out of bounds. Tyson Williams in the area to make sure that play didn't go for longer yardage. That's a gain of eight. And they might have been looking ahead to this game, quite frankly. I think they might have overlooked San Jose State a little bit. Bell in the backfield. Agnew to the air. Wide open for the touchdown. The easy pitch and catch. And Parker... Houston in the area, but Waring made the grab. He, knew he was going to get the ball a little more often. 6'6", 250 pounds. He's at the left of the screen, and just a little corner route ends up dipping in. Agnew, high risk, high reward when you talk to San Diego State's coaches. We'll get it to Waring, his tight end, and he'll be stopped three yards short of the line he needed to gain. The mix that Horton has put together for San Diego State, they've just been very good on offense tonight. They fake the jet sweep. Now looking for Waring, the tight end. Touchdown, Aztecs. Added about 30 pounds, a former walk-on. Kahale Waring, the score. Kahale Waring, and, and why wouldn't you throw to a guy 6'6", Roy? You have to ask yourself. Field, they've relied on the defense too many times this year, and here's their opportunity now. Gut check time for Ryan Agnew. Dangerous toss. Waring reels it in, crossing the 40. That'll move the chains. Oh, he's had a tremendous game. Waring now, the leading catcher, five catches. Clock winding down. San Diego State out of timeouts. Agnew quickly back to the line. Wants to heave one deep. Instead, we'll find Waring up to the 40. Agnew throws it across the middle to Waring to the 27. We're going to set up a third and about eight. Chapman immediately looking and finds his target, the tight end Waring, who should have the first down with forward progress up to the 35. Passed out to the tight end. This is Waring, who's going to be run out of bounds at the 46, about three yards short of the line to gain by DeJohn Rogers. Finds the tight end. Long run. Waring. First down and a lot more inside the 20. On third and long. They haven't been ha able to have too much success. Before that play, they Chance Bell now in as the back. Chapman takes the handoff to him. Goes to the end zone. Has it all alone. Once again to Waring. Touchdown, San Diego State. Touchdown, San Diego State. Six and two football team that had an answer 
Boy, great design on the play. Tight end comes from the back end. Well, Ryan Agnew came in the game. And quarterback in the second quarter has not left after Chapman started. There's the first catch of the night for Kahale Waring. Agnew throws the strike caught Waring. First down inside the 20. And wonder what was on Coach Rocky Long's mind at the half. Let's ask Alex. Surprise Chapman not a bit has not come back. It was an Agnew throw and a good throw there to Waring. Pulled out of bounds at about the 17. Coming in from a big tailgate night here in Fresno. Blitz comes. Chapman unloads quickly. Got his man. Caught there. Kahali Waring. One of his two giant tight ends at 6'6", 250. A guy that has a limo from the hotel to the ball yeah, to the no. to the stadium every. That's that's so you can jump in. Nice catch. That's Waring, the big tight end. And he's to the 47 yard line. Agnew's throw, a short one, caught there. That's wearing the tight end. I have to worry about the big play to score. Those two scoring drives, a collective 18 seconds between them. Chapman thinking about the deep ball, instead floats it to the sideline for Kahale wearing the tight end. Make it into plus territory and had to punt and are trying to piece something together here before halftime. Waring's got it at the 40. Forward progress stop there. And now, can they get back on track? Start the drive with a pass to Waring. The tight end makes the catch for a first down. But <laughs> his resume. Immediate pressure after he faked the handoff. Pursued toward the sideline. The short check down for Waring. And he steps his way to the 14.